you know, I would have been bummed about this before because I opened a couple of these, but now I know how valuable this card is, so I'm very happy about that. Busha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I'm back with a continuation of my story from Japan with a One Piece set to booster box opening. So, if you like this stuff, smush that subscription button. Thank you, gozaimasu. Arigato so much, and let's continue the story. So, uh, I met these DJs, and they really, um, I became friends with a bunch of them. They're really cool. They have really cool style and listen to cool music. And basically, the way that it works in Japan is it's not like, it's a very different vibe at clubs because a lot of these DJs, they, they basically have like a guest list, and they'll invite you as their guest. And if you go as their guest, like, you get a discounted entry and like a drink ticket or something like that. And then I think they kind of get like a kickback from, you know, bringing people to that bar or whatever. So it's kind of like a lot of the people there DJ also. Ooh, I think this is the first Tashigi that I've opened. Nice, 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 nice. That's good looking. Good looking box topper. And then we got a Blossom, of course. Here's a Blossom of Pack and Blossoms. Thank you so much. And let's start stripping these things. Yeah, so what happened after that? I got invited to uh, play some tunes at a bar and I did that and it was really fun. I had a really good time doing that and um, I just met more and more people and what was really cool is I had these one piece cards and I, you know, I don't know if you guys know kind of my history with like card printing but I've been I've been printing for a long time. I'm really a printer by by a trade. If I were to define myself as an artist, I think you know the thing that I have the most experience with is printing. I've been printing for a very, very, very long time. I've basically been alive for about the same time as like colored printers, and I've been using them for the entirety of my life. I love this card. Deswink, Herwink. Oh, so good. Ivankov. Love Ivankov. Um, so yeah, I've been printing for a really long time, you know, just kind of like finding Dragon Ball pictures on the internet and printing them and putting them on my wall as a kid. And, you know, I started screen printing in college and I studied Japanese woodblock printing and, um, I got into sublimation printing after college when I was in dental school, I was doing a lot of sublimation, still do a lot of sublimation, but didn't really have my hands on the sublimation printer. And I recently met a friend who I told the story about how I met, there's our Shanks Dom, uh, how I met and, um, he kind of taught me how to use this ultraviolet printer and I started using that printer and um, I've worked on a project that I can't dis disclose too much information about but basically I've been making like tons and tons and tons of fan art one piece cards and what's cool about these cards is they all have um, NFC chips inside of them so what I was doing is when I was going around in Japan everybody really likes one piece there it's like 97.9% .9 of people are one piece fans and um, Basically, I would take these cards, I would ask them what their favorite character was, and if I had that card, I would take the card out, and then I'd ask them if they had Instagram, because everybody communicates through Instagram, so I would get their Instagram URL, and then I would program the Instagram URL onto the card, and then I'd give them the card, and I would make a new friend. And it was awesome, because I just became like a friend-making machine, and it was really kind of full circle experience for me, because years ago, I used to go to Japan to go play Dragon Ball Heroes and collect cards and I would kind of like wait there for people to finish on the arcade machine so I could like hop on and start playing. And that was like kind of on the other side of that, you know, I was like, I was the one that was giving cards, people liked the cards that I was making and I know just enough Japanese to kind of like get by and convince people that I'm a pirate and uh, it was really fun like giving out this treasure in Japan that I worked really hard to make and and you know I would have never made it if it wasn't for the culture so it kind of felt like an opportunity to sort of like give back but it was a great way when I was going to these events where all these you know these DJs were hanging out and playing there should be an alt art in this box there's four SRs here so it shouldn't be a it should not be a, um, a secret in this box I believe but we'll see um, but I was going and meeting these people at these shows and I was teaching, you know, I was giving them these cards and then it was like a new networking thing for them where they had this cool like one piece card with their Instagram account on it. So when they wanted to like connect with people, they didn't have to do the whole like QR thing. They could just like take the card out and hold the card up against somebody's phone and it would take them like right to their Instagram and they could make more friends, which is kind of what one piece is about. I think in a lot of ways is like a story of like making friends and connecting with people around the world and you know Luffy's journey he's always like making homies and it was it was fun because I could make a lot of jokes with it I mean oh wow Uta alt holy hexagon that's pretty good 
I, you know, I would have been bummed about this before because I opened a couple of these, but now I know how valuable this card is, so I'm very happy about that. Sanki Uta, so nice to see you. Nice to see you here. Um, and that's all That's all the hits for the box. I'm not going to open any more packs. But yeah, it was kind of like, it was a cool, like, circle of friend making situation. And I guess I got to end with giving a dental tooth tip. So my dental tooth tip would be... Um, if you're hanging out with friends and you have a really good time at night and then, you know, you think you're going to forget to brush your teeth or something, remind your friends to brush your teeth. It's a nice thing to do as a friend because everybody should brush their teeth at night after a night of having fun and dancing and doing whatever it is that you do. Um, and come back in for the next part of the story because this story keeps going and I think I have a lot more boxes left. So I'll see you guys next time.